Well, it's pretty much been a year since the Jacksons decided they were going to build a new home with Eastbrook Homes. And what better way to reminisce over the past year and that process than in the new home with the Jacksons? Hey, Rob. Hi, Amy. How are you? Hi. We're good. doing good. Just want to introduce uh, us to you, the rest of your family. Yeah. So once again, this is Parker and then Freya. And Parker and Freya yeah. now in their new home here in Eastbrook Homes. Be Rob and Amy. Yes, hi. How are you? Welcome yes. to Lowing Woods. Hi. Thank you. When you were thinking about building a new home and you were trying to find a neighborhood, why did you choose Lowing Woods? Well, it started with looking in the Jenison Hudsonville area. Um, I work for Jenison Public Schools, so then I wanted to be closer to school and then hopefully have the kids come with me to school um, when they're ready for that. And then Rob works in Grand Rapids, so that brought us into the area. Um, we last September found a home in Lowing Woods that was uh, on the market and we really, really loved it, put an offer in, but unfortunately it didn't work out for us at that time with the competition. Um, but then we had noticed that they were still building in the neighborhood. And I think both of us, I remember us talking about how building didn't seem like something that was like realistic for us to pursue. It kind of felt like it was would be something that was too expensive for us and um, too extensive of a process. But we, the more we looked into it, uh, one step just kept leading to another, and um, eventually we, in our last October, made the commitment to to get going on it. All right, guys, let's take a look at this one. So this is real similar layout to what we just saw, just a little smaller. Okay. Yeah. So still has, as you can see, the open two-story. Yeah, we love that. Main floor masters to my left. And then as you can tell, we're looking across, it's all open concept. We're able to say like where our budget was. And then I did feel like our um, working with our sales agent, she would, would be really realistic about like, this is probably in your budget and this may be something that we could leave out if you're trying to stay under a certain number. And it was very respectful of like the line we had drawn in relation to the money that we wanted to spend. So welcome to the world of exteriors. So this area is really fun because it's all interactive, so everything can kind of move and we can take a look at different sidings with different stones. The closest I can, a metaphor would be like, it's like buying a car and you get to pick the model you want, do any upgrades you want, um, obviously on like a bigger scale, but getting like little additions you can make, um, that was fun, you get to go to the design studio and design that, like the interior, uh, pick out the exterior color. So it's just, uh, it's a really custom, it feels like a very custom, they make it very custom for you. In this space, we have all things flooring. So we'll choose carpet, we'll look at vinyl planks, we'll look at sheet vinyls, we'll look at tiles if we're planning to add those into any space. So then when we went to the studio, um, we worked with an interior designer, Sarah, and she was amazing. At, um, she had a lot of our selections already pulled and then we kind of just walked through what we liked and if we were really stuck, I would look at her and be like, I don't know, what would you do? And she would give me her honest opinion. And so that's what I appreciated was there was a lot of room for us to um, choose our own things without maybe being influenced, but at the same time, if we were seeking advice or stuck on something, she wasn't afraid to give her honest opinion and like steer us in the, the right direction. Yeah, no, it looks great, holy cow. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's fun to see it come alive a little bit. <laughs> Let's talk about access to the construction site, and of course, Joe, who we've seen yeah. a lot of over the past <laughs> few months, right? And what's that like? Is it really something beneficial? Is it really a perk to be able to come out to your house being built? Absolutely, because you're getting updates. We got weekly updates from our sales agent, uh, Jessica, and then from Joe and Chad, the construction managers, and being able to come on site and, and see it and see the progress going on is, you know, you get to see, oh, that's where the bedroom's gonna be, this is the foundation, and then framing, and as I enjoyed watching the framing process and watching the electric go in and all that action and just knowing that, wow, we're really progressing and mm -hmm. this is coming to fruition from paper to, 
to a, to a home. From my perspective, it was helpful for picking out furniture and that sort of thing because we could come and there were times we brought the tape measure along and we were like, okay, we need this big of a table or this big of a rug because the reality is some of that stuff is on back order right now too. So it was that balance of, you know, I didn't want to wait until we moved in to order some of those things that take three, six months, but it's also kind of tricky to pick those things out until you're here. Um, so it was nice to be able to come and, and sort some of that out. Talk yeah. about life in the new home and life in Lowing Woods. Yeah. Well, moving day, like you press all asked in the episode, very thankful for our friends and family to help us. It's quite a feat. Um, but then moving in and being in here has been amazing. Yeah. I love the house. Um, and like you said, we got to go on trick or treating already in the neighborhood. So it was a relief walking in and like, it's done and it looks yeah. amazing and we get to move our furniture in and kind of design it the way we want and you know having extra space, having an office, bedrooms for the kids, basement with a bathroom, it's just, it's definitely been a step up. So it's been really yeah. exciting. Well, for those maybe watching now who, who may be considering the same, who may have thought the same, yeah. that thought that a new build maybe was out of their price range or was, talk about working with Eastbrook and maybe tell them uh, a, a testimonial really of, of what you guys experienced. I would say don't be intimidated, check it out, ask questions, mm -hmm. ask about financing options yeah. and go explore and find a house that you love and see if you can make it happen. So yeah. that's what I would say. Yeah, and I think that, you know, there was a lot of support along the way and we never felt pressured or um, felt like anyone was trying to get us to do anything we weren't comfortable with. It was very just much supported and like, let's see how we can make this happen and make it work for you and help you to build your, your dream home that's gonna work for you and your family. So um, we've really had a positive experience and hopefully it will we'll make it feel like others could have that same outcome, especially in like the crazy market that we're in right now that, that can be so challenging for people, so. Well, thank you yeah. for sharing this experience over the past year yeah. with Fox 17 and our viewers on the Morning Mix, because it's been a, a real eye-opener, really, to see mm -hmm. all of the different things that Eastbrook Homes offers yeah. their clients. And if that's you, if you're in the market for that new home, as you heard Amy say, no pressure and plenty of support, and of course, beautiful homes, just like the Jacksons. It's been a fun year. If you want to learn more about the communities or to speak to someone about building your dream home, just head to eastbrookhomes.com. And coming up next month, we're going to have a full one-hour special, really taking a deeper dive, looking back at the Jackson's home journey. We'll be right back.